Hey, Red Hawk family, just getting ready to walk into a team meeting uh, and uh, let our your sons and our team know that we won't be playing uh, football here this fall. Uh, our plans are to try and play in the spring, and it's a it's a sad day. Um, your sons and all these coaches and everybody associated have uh, worked really, really hard. I know you were um, couldn't wait for college football and to watch your sons on the fields, and that's not happening. And so that's disappointing and it hurts, but at least uh, we know. One of the hardest things about what we've been going through is not knowing, and now we know. And now we can uh, move on um, through the recruiting process and, and hopefully through your sons, you understand that our the purpose of our program is to use our sport to make better men, period. Like that is the goal of our program and um, this can still happen. Um, of course, we're gonna try and play in the spring, but we're gonna use this time to invest heavily in your sons uh, off the field. And I believe that'll make them a better player and I believe that'll make them make us a better team. So eventually, uh, you know, um, it'll help them. But uh, we got a bunch of initiatives already set uh, and uh, move into this time of basically an off season where we're really going to uh, work on them phys physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and um, try to invest in them. So uh, just wanted to communicate with you. There's going to be a billion questions, and of course we could try to answer them, but at the end of the day, no one knows. Um, I could lie to you and tell you that, oh yeah, we're playing in spring, but at the end of the day, no one really knows. The only thing we do know is at some point, we are going to play college football again. No one knows when, and if they tell you they know, they don't. And and between now and that point to where we get to play, I think the most important thing is we just try to um, do it together. I, at the end of the day, if we come apart uh, through all this, uh, then nothing nothing's going to be accomplished. But I don't know what the future looks like. I just know that we're going to try and do this thing together. Um, and so your sons will probably have a lot of questions and uh, they're going to meet one-on-one -on -one with each position coach uh, and tomorrow. I'm going to give them off next week. Uh, nothing mandatory. I'm not saying they have to go home or, or anything. We'll still feed them and everything. But I just feel at a time like this, we need to uh, hit the pause button, emotionally come to grips with our new reality uh, this week, and then um, you know get ready for school. Uh, get ready to go and crush this fall. And um, but I also feel like we need to give your son some time. As even as coaches, obviously this is what we do. And I don't even know what my fall's like. I'm pretty sure my wife's gonna not be very happy to have her husband around as much as she might. So uh, I'll keep you updated on that. As I know more information, you'll know information. I will send out a little bit of information from flowcharts, uh, the initiative of Protect the Nest, our COVID plan uh, when your sons are on campus and all of, all of that. So uh, as always, feel free to reach out. My cell phone number is 815-793-5485. Just know that uh, I'm gonna do everything I can to be there and, and as a staff, be there for your sons. So again, Appreciate you letting us lead your uh, young men.